Hello, Howl family. This is Prince Kerr, the voice of HC. I hope you are all doing great. Before we get into this video, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It will be greatly appreciated, and it helps the channel a lot. In today's conversation, I wanted to discuss being overly emotional before our video this week. So let's talk about it. Let's start this conversation by saying that emotions are important. The emotions you feel each day can compel you to take action and influence the decisions that you make about your life, both large and small. Your emotions can inspire movement and ideas and propel you towards actions on your life journey that could not have been trailed with sheer logical assessment. However, in this conversation, let's discuss those short-lived emotions, such as a flash of annoyance at a coworker or a vulgar reaction to something that triggers you. So what does it mean to be emotional about something? In this context, being emotional is reacting over sentimentally to issues that demand logical assessment. Think of reacting emotionally as your moods being in motion. Yet when you need to deal with situations that demand attention to detail or even someone else's feelings, for example, it is important to ask yourself, does it make sense to react to those moods in motion? Think of this like trying to put a thread through a needle while running back and forth. Then as much as you would like for that thread to go through the needle, Unless you stop moving and calm down, the task will be nearly impossible. Being too emotional becomes an issue when you are put in positions that you have to use your mind and your keen attention, yet your very thoughts are clouded by feelings of anger, rage, sadness, or despair, for example. This can only lead to furthering those emotions because Using those emotions to solve those emotions is similar to trying to fight fire with fire. If you fight fire with fire, the fire will likely only get bigger and spread. As much as we rely on emotions to convey our ideas, it is important to accept that in heated situations, emotional reactions are likely to cloud what you truly think of a situation. In a literal sense, let's say you have an argument with a friend over something that means a lot to you, but your friend has no idea what exactly triggered this argumentative response from you. Because you feel hurt, you may refuse to acknowledge that this person actually cares for you, and you may be reacting emotionally by simply trying to hurt them as much as you felt hurt so they can feel what you're feeling. However, if you are to accomplish that goal during the argument, you are likely to already be taking it too far, because the person you are arguing with possibly had no intentions of affecting you the way they did at all, and now you are gunning for them, seemingly out of thin air. As a result, because you address the issue emotionally, you are likely to further the rift between yourself and your friend who you will remember that you love long after that emotional period has subsided. When reacting emotionally, it is important to consider that one of the main reasons we lash out is because of internal issues no one but ourselves can truly understand. To solve the issue of reacting over emotionally, the path of self-discovery is paramount. As the saying goes, you cannot begin to love someone else until you truly love yourself. You can only love and accept someone else as much as you are willing to love and accept yourself. This means to consider that when you are reacting over emotionally to a situation, it may be that you have an issue within that you may or may not be aware of, and reacting emotionally often acts like a cloak to cover it up. Reacting emotionally is often a veil of pride when your ego is struck in some way or the other, and because you haven't solved that internal issue happening inside of you, 
you feel that you have to protect yourself against a supposed threat the moment that it has been triggered. The next time you feel that you are about to react emotionally to an issue that demands your logical assessment, consider the following. First, breathe and ask yourself, why do I feel so strongly about this situation? Does this situation truly warrant my attention? If it is a person that I am triggered by, are they truly aware of the impact of the situation? Do I care about this situation enough to explain what I truly think and feel in detail? Is this worth my energy? What will I get out of this in exchange? Is there really a point to reacting like this? By questioning yourself, you will be able to acknowledge the level of importance that the issue actually has in your current reality. You will give yourself the opportunity to step back and deal with the situation accordingly, whether then or at another time when you feel that you can be more composed. Always remember, anyone that has influence over your emotions can have control over you. It is important to accept that the best thing that you can do for all relationships in your world is to work on yourself because the better you are at being you is the better you can be for anyone else. So don't lie to yourself or tell yourself mistruths about the way you are acting or reacting to a situation. Although your ego and your pride may be able to do a great job at hiding what you truly think and feel from others, being honest with how you feel about yourself is very important. When you are honest about the nature of your reactions or the nature of how you feel about a situation, you can, in the future, confront those situations from a conscious level. By being more honest about why you are reacting in a certain way or how you feel about situations, you will be able to direct your energy and the right amount of that energy at the right places at the right times. Because always remember, you can not say the wrong thing to the right person. Keeping this level of understanding with yourself will help you face your internal troubles so that one day you will be open enough to face the world as the beautiful person that you truly are. Well, at least that's what I think. What do you think? Is reacting emotionally ever warranted? Does it help to solve your problems in your life? Or has it only added to issues in your life experience? Let's have a conversation in the comment section. I'll see you on the next episode of Conversations on Howl Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.